All right, what's on the bench? I found this at the store. I had to have one. <laughs> it is a reed switch. It's a magnetic reed switch. So if it, a magnet comes close to it, it will close its contacts. It's got, it's got two pieces of metal and they're separated. As, it, as a magnet comes close, they, they, they stick together. Um, let me show you a, a, a little movie here uh, in the microscope. And you can see the uh, contacts uh, going uh, and releasing. And it looks like those contacts are really, really polished and very nice looking. All right, so the bag that it was in uh, said it was 100 watt, 10, uh, 6 amps. Yeah, 6 amps. Okay, 6 amps. Should we test it? <laughs> Should we see that? So I need to be able to hold this and uh, we'll put a couple amps through it and take a look. Um, but uh, I want to hold it in something that's non-magnetic. Uh, so uh, a couple months ago, I, I 3D printed this, uh, I 3D printed this little uh, clamp, which is vice, whatever you want to call it. But it's perfect for this because it's completely made out of plastic, right? And I can, uh, I can stick it in here and uh, that holds it nice and rigid. And we can make some contacts to it and uh, 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 won't interfere with the magnet, okay? So yeah, let's, uh, let's hook a few things up. All right, so I have the device here, the switch. Uh, we're gonna be using a one ohm load, okay? So we have uh, uh, a power supply which is currently set to one volt, one volt. And so one volt across one ohm should give us about one amp. So when I close the switch with a magnet, okay, so uh, hopefully you can read that over there. And when I close it, it's up 849 milliamps. Okay, 849 milliamps. Not exactly one ohm, not, not exactly one amp though, but we have some voltage losses and stuff and cables and all kinds, but we're getting, we're getting close to an amp of, uh, getting close to an amp of uh, current going through that switch, okay? So let's go over here and take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to be monitoring the uh, uh, voltage across the, uh, across the, uh, resistor here um, so uh, this is one one volt so it's half a volt per division so if I come in here and I close it boom goes up there to 0.8 volts because uh, it's uh, got losses and stuff in it right and I let go of it look at those rings <laughs> whoa boing 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 <laughs> so let's uh, let's go a little bit slower and wow look at that let's go ahead and tr try to trigger on some events here uh, trigger mode let's go to triggered let's set a trigger to about yay and yeah there's a there's a nice ringy ding how about that Wow. It's hard to, let's do a single shot. And it just came up. Let's do another one. Let's see if we can capture a particular event. And then, oops, I'm not capturing the event that I wanted. Okay, let's move the uh, trigger level up higher. There we go. That's the one I wanted to capture. Look at the ringing. Woo, it's going up here to five volts. Oh, even higher. Yeah, up to 12 volts. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some nasty ringing on this thing. Okay, let's go to uh, two volts. Oops. Uh, two volts. 
Uh, are we at two now? Yeah. So this is closer to, let's see here. Now we're at, uh, oh, I'm clamping. Oh, let's see, I may change my power supply here. Uh, current set, three amps. There we go, that would go to three amps. Now we're getting 1.7 amps out of it. Yeah, look at that ring. So anyway, uh, just a just a demonstration that uh, if you thought you could use a magnetic reed switch to generate a fast edge, be aware that it's going to have a really big ringy ding on it. Um, let's see how fast the edge though. Let's let's come back over here. I didn't really look at how fast that edge is. Let's. Uh, Let's uh, zoom in here, fast, fast edge. Whoa. Uh, let's see. It's a pretty fast edge, let's see. Hmm, okay. Let's zoom out. It is a fast edge. Let's see here, oops. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go to uh, zoom in. There's that ringing. But the ringing, oops, let's come back out. Let's see here if I can trigger on something. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go in a little further. Five nanoseconds per division. Yeah, I think we're slew rate limiting on the power supply responding to it, I think. I think we're measuring the uh, speed of the power supply, but yeah, it's still got a big ring out of it. Wow. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Uh, good to six amps, as it says, and uh, I've just never seen such a big one. There you go. Okay, I wanted to record the sound this thing makes because it makes a really nice little sound. Isn't that fun? All right, here's even more fun.